insertion of a routed firewall in a bridge domain with ACI policy-based redirect. So if you needed to insert a firewall in an existing layer two network uh, prior to using ACI with PBR, either you would create two separate layer two networks, and then you would put the firewall in layer two mode between them, or you would, co you would configure the firewall in routed mode, and then you would point the default gateway of the virtual machines to the firewall. With ACI, you don't need to do any of that. You can keep the bridge domain as it is, and then you can use service graph redirect to insert the firewall in the path between specific endpoint groups. There are two main options you can use to insert a firewall in a layer two network. One is to use a routed firewall and then using service graph redirect um, and using the firewall in one R mode. And then the other option would be to insert the firewall in layer one or layer two mode. Uh, but this is the topic of a different presentation. So what this presentation covers today is the insertion of the firewall in router mode between specific EPGs or among all EPGs um, of a given VRF or even within a single EPG. So what are the preliminary configurations? Um, so most of the configurations are the same as with a regular PBR deployment. And the main difference is when it comes to defining the interfaces of the concrete device configuration and the uh, cluster or logical device configuration. The other preliminary configuration that is not ACI specific is that you need to make sure the firewall can send and receive from the same interface. Step one, creation of the service bridge domain. So here you create the bridge domain, you associate the bridge domain with the VRF, the same one used by client and servers. You can have other proxy or a non unicast flooding. IP routing should be on. Now for the data plane learning option, if you're using a version prior to 3.1 or first generation leaps, then you would have to leave this option to uncheck this option. If you're using 3.1 or newer, there's no need to modify the data plane learning configuration. Step number two, you create a redirect policy. Now uh, you just need to um, configure the IP and the MAC address of the firewall. As usual, the MAC address should be a virtual or a floating MAC address so that if the firewall fails over, ACI can still reach it to, because the MAC is the same for the uh, newly active uh, firewall. And here is the configuration that differs from the two ARM configuration. So when you define uh, the concrete and logical device, so you go to a layer four, layer seven devices, you create a new device. In this case, you just need to create one interface, which here it's called outside and inside. And it's pointing to the network adapter two of the ASAV. And the cluster interface in its turn is pointing to device one interface outside and inside. Now, in a redundant setup, you have device two. And then in the cluster configuration, you would have also device two outside and inside as the interface. Now, on all the APIC images, um, meaning prior to 4.0, you may have to provide the type of uh, connector for the cluster interfaces. So you would still have to create two interfaces, one uh, type provider, one type consumer, which would both point to the very same interface in the uh, concrete device. Now, this is not necessary anymore with the latest releases, but if you do happen to use an older one, then just be mindful about this. Now, uh, step four, configuration of the graph template. Uh, nothing special to do here. You just need to make sure you select the uh, route redirect. And then step five, you apply the graph template. So when you apply the graph template to a contract, you still have a consumer and a provider uh, connector for the graph template. Um, so 
the only step that may not be very intuitive is the fact that you need to assign both the consumer connector and the provider connector of the graph to the same service bridge domain. And then you would have to assign the same redirect policy to both the consumer connector and to the provider connector. And you would have to select the same cluster interface for both uh, sides of the graph. Now, the same firewall configuration can be used um, in many other bridge domains or even across bridge domains. Um, so by using the one arm configuration, uh, you can just easily reuse the same graph and the same redirect policy for contracts, not just the ones within the same BD, like the ones we just configured, but even between EPGs of uh, different bridge domains, you can just use the same graph again in the same redirect policy. This is the configuration like you would not even need to, to do an apply graph template to every EPG pair. You could just say um, any in the device selection policy to basically match any contract and then specify the, the graph name which is the one we defined with uh, the redirect to the firewall graph. And here you would just specify the cluster interface, which uh, is outside inside in the previous uh, example. Um, and then the same service bridge domain and the same redirect policy. And then you would just need to take the graph and apply it to the contract subjects where you want to have the firewall inserted. And so if you take the graph and you apply it to the contract called inside one to inside two, then you would see in the deploy graph instances, a new graph instance shows up. And then if you apply it to another contract called inside one to inside three, you would see another graph instance to show up. So you can easily create a configuration where the only operation you need to make to add this firewall to specific uh, pair of EPGs is consistent in just adding the graph to the contracts where you need it. But you could also just uh, uh, make this graph applied all the time to all EPGs. And that's done by applying the graph to the contract between uh, the BZNE. So you can specify in the BZNE that it's providing and consuming the very same contract. And then you would apply the graph to this contract. You could also insert the graph within an EPG. And so you can just, uh, in that case, you can leverage the intra EPG contracts. And to do so, you can simply apply the graph template. And then when you apply the graph template, you uh, specify also configure intra EPG endpoint contract. And then, um, and then you specify which EPG uh, you want to, uh, to apply this to. Then you can create a new intra EPG contract, or you could reuse an existing one. And the apply graph wizard will then ask you to select the service bridge domain, the redirect policy, and the cluster interface only once. Uh, and that's the usual um, configuration. So the uh, configuration of the service bridge domain you've seen before, uh, the redirect policy, and the cluster interface. If you need more information about policy-based redirect, then you can refer to this great white paper. And, and this is all for, for this presentation.